Hello everyone! As I continued playing the Stone Holidays, I've gathered a bunch of clips of my other build, that is a Hexer, and this dude changed a bit throughout the video. I'll explain it in a second. I don't always wear a gape ring, and I can trade it for casting speed ring and then eventually just revert the save file. His weapons we use right now. Mainly it's a Fume Sword, Channeler's Trident and a Moonblade Sword. As for stats, we get a formidable amount of Int and Faith, and not a lot of adaptability, but with enough attunement we still get 96 agility. As of now, Soul Memory is at 4 million bracket, and it's been pretty decent. Now, now we can watch some invasion clips. So, originally this build was far lower level, with just 30 int and faith, because those are soft caps for attack damage. It was playing well, but I wanted to add more spells like Affinity and Dark Great Sword. What's funny in DS2? You can still buff Dark Infused Weapon for even more damage. Here you can see classic D2 teleport stab, because my opponent suddenly has Thousand Ping Lag Spike, and there's no check on defender side. To be fair, it wasn't a good timing to set up a spell anyway. I expect host to aggress here, so I begin casting Darkstorm. It does big chunk of damage and orbs keep hitting for poise damage. Scraps of life kinda serve same purpose, but I am able to move after finishing initial cast. Recollection uses really lots of stamina to cast, but mainly it's a spell for setting things up. And Dark Hail is just a nerfed Dark Beat. Nothing much happens in this invasion, but I played it quite badly. Get a straight backstab here, and host dodges Scraps of Life wake up. I recognize Firestorm cast animation to punish it. That's one of Pyromancy weaknesses in this game, honestly. It just gets hard read all the time. I expected him to run around the corner to heal, so I'm taken by surprise. And I also do dumb jumping attack. That gets me backstabbed. This guy did really well by pressuring me, but in the end he ran out of stamina. Right about after this invasion, I decided to level up in order to add more hexes. Now, let me tell you how filthy Affinity is. It does take 3 spell slots and needs 60 int for all orbs, but the amount of damage it does is insane and it's really difficult to dodge on latency because it will hit late. It also has combo potential with the Greatsword, which is often an overkill. As you see here, I win in a good battle. Another application of Affinity is forcing people to roll for a backstab grab, which I believe was a thing since Dark Souls 1 Prepared to Die edition. You can see it illustrated in those few clips. 
even if I don't get a backstab. It makes people panic. There's a window, right after it starts to track. A window that will allow me to cast any spell I want. And the orbs will block my opponent's view. If you dodge at this point, it's too early and the affinity will hit you. Next, I gave myself 20 more levels of faith to try out Dark Dance. This spell is like a combined Wrath of Gods and Affinity, with fast initial shockwave that does damage, and also staggers. Then it shoots out 5 orbs that have limited range and tracking. So it's more of a close combat, get off me kind of spell. Now this hex does cost 5k souls to use for max damage. I do find it a bit irking about soul memory, but this is one of the reasons to keep a save file. The Greatsword, in my opinion, is just a more interesting soul greatsword that you can use at range and that will destroy anyone if both projectile and melee part hits. I put Moonlight Greatsword for extra beams and because I get 60 int. Those three spells, Affinity Dark Dance and Dark Greatsword, work really well in tandem. You do have to either outspace or time dark dance right for it to work, but the shockwave got a bit of range. Here I do a risky dark greatsword and space out. I respect Yorg's sphere though, it's an interesting weapon. I appreciate getting lots of Shulva invasions, as it is my favorite area in the game. Some of Hexes were nerfed in history of DS2, because they were overtuned. However, they still dish out all the damage. I think it is justified, considering how much you need to invest into Intent Faith. Elden Ring has three schools requiring those stats, and only one is good. I'm not even mentioning Infusion and the absence of weapons. Another weapon I've decided to use is a puzzling stone sword. It has very low stat requirement and does low damage as well, so I am buffing it with a dark weapon. Main trait of this weapon is a moveset. It's like a B team take on a threaded game from Bloodborne. I also like that 200 R1 is a poke, despite it being a straight sword. What's odd, here you see two almost identical invasions that happen back to back, down to host fashion and the weapon type. I try to utilize whole moves of this weapon guard. Relatively low casting speed gets me hit sometimes. Scraps of life last forever, more than some people would expect. I'm not sure how I survived in this invasion. We love tracking in these two, by the way had to go for pokes.
here you see a rapier brain, casually mashing R1 five times in a row. I know, Elden Ring gets a lot of complaints about weapon variety that is used by people in general, but the situation in DS2 is even more dire. If I were to put a rapier count in Envisions, that would reach about 80%, with remaining 20 being great club R2 spam. I like to imagine those dudes as more of you tune watchers. My point is, I don't even see many drain girls anymore. I can't really aim dark grids or downwards, but Raper dude number 99 gets what he deserves anyway. What's interesting, I had more good fights at 4 million soul memory than below. People here actually use many different weapons. I have forgotten how to play the game here, so it ended badly. Just thought Poison Statue Assist was funny. And I would like to end this video on what some would refer as a sad gang. These two NPCs are epitome of garbage, so I'm glad they were busy with mobs most of the time. I've also put a Soul Spear on this build as a stronger snipe option, and it has a greater range as a Dark Orb. I do have future plans for this build. I'm gonna respec it by decreasing faith and using Majestic Greatsword with Wrathful Axe. I have to give up Dark Dance, but I'll try different hexes again. I've enjoyed playing on this build, and I hope you did too watching those clips. I'll see you all in the next video that's probably gonna be about Elden Ring.